Hey guys, Jimbo Evan here, and today I'm back with some more Elgarian Skies. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be showing you guys my mob farm I built that pretty much gave me a ton of loot, which is pretty good. It's actually giving me some iron too, which is really awesome. Um, So I'm going to show you guys pretty much like a little bit of the material. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be showing you all of it because I don't want mobs to be attracted to me and, and everything like that. And like... Uh, just shoot me off this cliff right over here. Uh, so I'll show you a little bit of the interior and stuff like that. And um, uh, yeah, so I was actually up here just showing you guys a little bit. So the mobs pretty come down here. And then if you could see one, I don't know if you could see them. They should be coming any second. Um, but pretty much the mobs come from this big mob farm. And then they come down here. As you can see, that's a skeleton. And I'm not fighting that right now. Uh, because it will literally knock me off the cliff. Uh, knock you off here and I'll probably die. Uh, but yeah, pretty much this this farm's pretty efficient. I had to make it so that uh, spiders wouldn't spawn to make this farm really good also. And of course that there's a lot of mob rates. And I didn't really have a redstone or anything to make it faster. So I just made a really, really simple mob farm. Um, so uh, I've been doing a little work, bit of work on this place. As you can see, of course, the mob farm. And right up here, I actually made a really... Uh, Pretty much the platform, I made the whole entire platform up here. And I don't know what to do with this. I may just build something on top of our, on top of the house right over here. And maybe make a giant wheat farm or something with all the, what's called, with all the dirt I have already of 34. And it's pretty easy to get dirt actually right now because I, I'm just using melons, which are, get, like, I have so many of them right now, which is really nice. Uh, so, um, I'm just going to go to sleep really quickly to make the mob farm. A little bit better. It's much better in the day. T uh, uh, sorry, in the nighttime. Uh, sorry, in the daytime because of mobs. Then could spawn outside. I really don't want mobs to spawn outside, of course. Uh, but yeah, we're. I'm doing uh pretty well on this farm. Unfortunately, there's all these mobs that right here survive with like half a heart, and they always, no matter what, if they fall, they survive with half a heart or even more hearts. So it's literally impossible. So sometimes I just have to come here and then kill them. And once I left this farm overnight and there's like 50 mobs in there, which is pretty freaky with like half a heart, which gave me like, I think it was at like uh, almost 30 levels of XP. And then of course I died. Now I'm at about 13 again uh, because I'm of course getting up through all like just a ton of stuff that I'm doing just gets me a little bit of XP. Uh, and yeah, as you guys can see, you, you can see like tons of mobs coming down. A lot of them are, I believe, like how I built the farm. It's a little bit, like I'm going to probably make it more efficient soon. I just made a really, really bad one at the beginning because I, like, I don't really have any hoppers. The problem with my farm is I'm just using a, a really sweet, I actually got called the, what's it called, the hungry chest. And pretty much what it does is when... Items fall and eats it, so I can only have one block. So I had to make it so that the mobs couldn't fall in like uh, what's it called? Pretty much nine different locations. They could only fall in one, so that meant it's harder for the mobs to all like kind of like come down in a way from here. And then like once they would come down, they couldn't like it's it's really hard to explain, but pretty much they're like I didn't want any spiders or anything, and that that could only occupy one by one space. So, uh, I couldn't have, like, spiders, or I couldn't have a bigger spawn area in a way, so, yeah, it's, it, I'm not gonna really go into that right now, that was a lot of going into right there, but yeah, I'm doing pretty well on our farm right now, I've been, uh, collecting, pretty much I got rid of all those, uh, what's it called, um, I got rid of all those strings or whatever, and now what I have is just, uh, some normal trees here, I've just been growing a few trees around this area, and of course, just doing a little bit of planting around here. Uh, the mob farm did take me for, uh, forever, guys, and um, it was pretty it was pretty cool about that. Um, it was pretty fun to do the project of the mob farm and everything, but of course, the loots are worth it, guys, because look at all these loots. Look how many bones we have in this one farm right here. That is just amazing. We can, like, get so many, uh, what's it called? We can make uh, so many tools and, of course, repair so many tools really easily. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and repair it again right there. Okay, well, there we go. So now we have a... Uh, now we're just... We, like, now we just keep on using the bones to make our... What, pretty much our tools work. And then once they're working, um, like, we're just all good in terms of... Of, like, how fast we can mine trees and stuff like that. So I've been just working up here a little bit and just doing this over and over again. Uh... To, of course, get a lot of wood right now. I got, like, a, pretty much a stack and a half of wood right now, which is pretty good. I'm planning on probably doing another expansion by next episode and maybe showing you a little bit this episode. Uh, just mine these trees really quickly. I just want to get them because I want to 
kind of like I need a lot of wood for this project, of course. Uh, and it may also be, uh, in a few episodes, I may also be doing expansion on the mob farm if I want more mob drops. But of course, I'll need much more iron so that uh, pretty much when they fall down, uh, it doesn't go into this chest. And then after that, it's really hard. I may just do uh, pretty much a hopper under here that leads into two chests right over like a double chest right there. So that this chest can still kind of work, but then... Uh, we also got another chest leading to it. Right now, I only have one iron, so of course, once I get more iron, I will definitely be able to, uh, just, I'll de definitely be able to just simply, uh, what's it called, uh, make, pretty much make the hoppers and everything like that. Let me just eat these melons really quickly. Hate having to eat the melons, guys. They're not, like, the best source of food ever because, of course, they only give you, like, they only give you, like, a heart or half heart or whatever, so it's, like, Sorry, half a hunger, which is really, really low, so you have to eat so many of them. But then I already have, like, a whole entire melon farm over there, which is not bad. Uh, I may actually start growing a different type of tree. Because I got a, actually got a ton of trees in here, I'm not even growing them. Uh, right over here we got uh, birch and spruce right over there, so I may actually just grow these right now. And then, uh, if I grow them right now, what I could simply do is have more in the future of course uh so i'll try to plant them like right over here so that they'll be fine and then what i'll do is i'll turn i'll get about 12 bone meal and then i'll go like this i don't think this tree can even grow here that is not good uh oh yeah this tree right over here i have to mine this so that the uh the leaves fall down um i don't think it can grow there so i'll just uh Get a little bit more bone meal, and then I'll grow this tree right over here, which can grow, which is good. Uh, and then after we do grow this tree, we should be able to just simply uh, get more saplings from this tree. Hopefully it gives us saplings. I need like a few of these, like one or two. Uh, yeah, we already got one, which is not bad. We just need a few each tree and everything like that, uh, so that'll actually work. I may have to grow this like right over here. Um, so what I'll do is break that. And then after I'll break that, I'll go ahead and uh, just simply plant the spruce tree right over here. And then I'll get my bone meal and grow it. There we go. So, yeah, it's actually not a bad tree because it is big in wood. So I may actually start just using these type of trees, guys, if I'm just getting a lot of wood from it, of course. Uh, but, of course, the other trees have a big chance of getting big pieces of wood, which then I can uh, go ahead and infect it with silkworms to get much more string but I really don't need string right now guys um, I already put a little bit of the string in here because I just wanted to put some mob loots in there and stuff like that and uh, yeah I got like a stack and a half of string so I don't think that's a big deal right now uh, hopefully we do get a sapling from this I really need a sapling uh, really badly actually because if we don't get one we're just toast we're just like just toast if that doesn't happen um just trying to find, yeah, we got a crook right here. Oh, we got one, good, 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 we got one. Come on, give it, yes, we got two. Okay, few, few. If we didn't get one, I would have probably raged right there. Oh, my God. Uh, So we have six. Whoa, that's a lot, actually. Uh, Did not expect to get six there. Uh, And then how many did we get over here? We got two. Okay, that's not that bad. I may just get about six of these each or something like that so that we can at least have a few just sitting there just in case we don't get any. Like we uh, end up losing some or whatever. Oh, yes, we finally got an upgrade on our hatchet. That is good. Uh, so let me just repair this one uh, really quickly. So now we can just simply take them this tree really fast. So we'll use this crook just to do it. So um, this is like another farming episode in a way, guys, because I do want to do a little bit of work. And, of course, I'm also talking to you guys about the mob farm which, that is there, which is pretty good. Uh, trying to get rid of all this stuff right up here. Ooh, we got one. Okay, good, good. Uh, we're at three now. That's pretty good. Hopefully, we can get about four. Come on, four. Uh, we got a silkworm, which is not that bad, I guess. Uh, so, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and plant... Go ahead and plant a one of those there, and then uh, plant one of those there, and one of those there. Uh, and then what we can just do is plant one there. So yeah, that should be good. Um, 
Yeah, the only reason why I felt like doing this episode now, guys, is because, of course, of the mob farm that I built. I know it's not... I know we don't have that... I don't have that much, like, to offer this episode to you guys to show you anything cool or maybe... Um, whoa, that zombie has a lot of health. Uh, but, like... Like, nothing cool and unique like my episodes before where we're actually doing really important stuff, but I really thought of, like, making this ep like making this episode just to show you guys mostly the mob farm, um, and how, how efficient it is and everything about that, uh, and yeah, so, there's nothing much this episode, guys, unfortunately, but of course, the episodes in the future will be amazing, I'll be definitely having a lot of cool episodes in the future to come and stuff like that, because of course, all the... Just all the cool stuff that I want to make on this, like, tons of automatic melon farms, maybe even, like, I don't know what, I don't even know what we have in the future, whatever, we could be making, like, cool machines that do all the work for us, and then, like, completing really uh, sweet quests or whatnot that have, like, need, like, a million wood or something, we get that in, like, 20 seconds, which would be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, but sorry, this may, this is actually going to be a short episode, unfortunately, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, a like would, of course, really be appreciated. And if you really enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And make sure to apply to the Jim Bowman Craft Network for a 70% revenue share. But th that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. This has been Jim Bowman, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.